Let's start off by talking about the electrical schematic. Um, you can see I've got some notes in here. We've got uh, all the switches are single pull, single throw. The blinker switches are maintained, meaning if you push them in, they'll stay down. And the horn is a momentary, meaning it'll only be on while you're pushing the button. So if you come up here, I've got my positive terminals. And over on this side, we've got the negative terminals. And I've also put a little legend up here so you can see what the different symbols are. Po the cross sign's positive, the dash is negative. Uh, the zero is just a connection terminal. That little C shape is a, a jumper. And then the star symbol is uh, for notes. And L is the flashing positive load coming off of the relay. So there's a little relay in here and it takes a positive and a negative. You'll notice the negatives aren't necessarily connected just to make the, the drawing or the schematic look a little bit cleaner. Any negative can hook to any negative essentially. Okay. So anyways, look at this flasher here and you'll see the load. Once this flasher has a positive and negative full time, the load then goes over to this terminal block and those two are jumpered and they are independent from the left two positives that are jumpered. And what happens is, is they travel down these lines and where they hook up to the red and the green of the left and the right blinker and then there's a negative that goes back to keep the LEDs on the blinker switches her buttons lit up and those two lines come back to these connections which in turn run to each of the lights and the lights are paralleled off of each other as well so that's basically the flow of the electrical path on this schematic and I've taken the liberty to jumper some of the switches and in these videos I've already crimped all the electrical connections so you'll have to figure out what kind of connections you want to use, but I use the kind that you can heat shrink later on. And here's a, a quick little image of the buttons and the switches and the lights. And you'll notice I've used these pigtail spade connectors. So that just combines quickly the white and the black. So I only have to run a positive and a negative to each light. And then on the buttons, you'll notice that, uh, I've already got a connection but the red and the green are hooked together and there is a yellow and you can barely see it right here and I've cut the yellow off because I'm not using it for any of the work that I'm doing.